Hey everyone, today I'm going to show you this great tool we have to help you determine the number and size of hard drives you should choose for your Reolink PoE system. But first, let's talk about why you should choose surveillance grade hard drives. Unlike your typical desktop hard drive, surveillance grade drives are designed to be written to 24-7. They're also designed to work in high heat and vibration environments like the inside of an NVR where many hard drives are packed together. They'll also include a solid extended warranty and many will even include complementary data recovery services should your hard drives fail. The two most common brands of surveillance grade drives are Seagate Skyhawk and WD Purple. All right, with all that in mind, let's take a look at the tool. Okay, so here we are inside our project calculator for Reolink PoE cameras. There's a link to this tool in the video description. On the left-hand side here, you can see it's already defaulted to having one RLC 520A camera. That's a pretty solid five megapixel camera with person and vehicle detection. We can give it a name, so I'll call it Porch, and we can add as many cameras as we want. So we'll add one here, call it Garage, and we'll add another one, you know, call it Front Door. We can also change the model of camera we want to use. And if we don't know which model of camera we want, we can use this Help Me Choose link, and it'll actually bring up all the real link cameras, and you can filter them down uh, by the features that you're looking for, and then just click on the one you want. Now you can see that as we're adding cameras over here, things start to change over here. So what this tool does is it takes the recording requirements of each of the cameras multiplied by the number of storage days you put in to calculate the amount of storage that your system will need and then recommend hard drives. So you can see for these three cameras, we'll need Reolink's eight channel recorder, which is the smallest one they make with a three terabyte hard drive. It's also you know, summarizing the number of each camera model that you've chosen, along with uh, the junction boxes that are compatible with each camera. Now, if you're not sure why you need junction boxes, uh, I recommend staying tuned for our physical camera installation video where we go over uh, why those are a very good idea, especially for real link cameras. The tool also recommends a number of different things down here, uh, including Cat5e cable, RJ45 connectors, the tool you'll need to crimp those ends on, and some cable clips that make hanging cable a lot easier. So I'm gonna go ahead and fill this tool out with an actual real life installation that I've done so we can see what the results look like. All right, so I've gone ahead and set this up to reflect an actual real life installation that I did a couple weeks ago at a small apartment complex. So you can see on the left hand side here, we've picked the RLC 520A for the lobby, main entrance, rear entrance, and laundry room. But for the parking lot where the customer wanted to capture as much detail as possible, we went with the RLC 811A because it is 4K, has person vehicle detection, and optical zoom. Another thing we've done is clicked Customize Bitrate here. Bitrate is basically like video quality, and we've turned it all the way up to the maximum. So for these five cameras recording across 14 days, the calculator has determined that we'll need 5.19 terabytes of storage. So it's still recommending the 8-channel RLN8410 recorder, but now you can see that it's recommending either the Seagate Skyhawk 6TB drive or the WD Purple 6TB drive. It's also summarizing how many of each camera we'll need. And it's also recommending how many of each junction box we should use. So you can see it's recommending one of the B10 junction boxes because that's what Reolink's bullet style cameras use. And it's recommending four of the D20 junction boxes because that's what their turret style cameras use. And then all these cable and tools down here are staying the same. Those are sort of just general recommendations. And then as you can obviously see, there are some convenient Amazon buy links here to help you uh, easily find these products and put your system together. All right, well, I hope this tool is helpful for you as you're planning your Reolink PoE system. If you're looking to learn about how to choose the right Reolink camera, how to physically install cameras, things like that, please consider subscribing to this channel as I'm planning a few more videos about the Reolink ecosystem. All right, thanks for watching, and we'll see you next time.